when we came here about two and a half years ago, um, she had started to need more care. And so we had started off that summer with home care, one of the, one of the local home care services that her doctor had prescribed. And it was the social worker with that program who, as I said, directed us to several of the area daycare programs to consider. Um, we came here first, and we didn't go to any others. Um, our first encounter here, my youngest daughter came with me. Uh, I was hoping she'd be here today. <laughs> She's my backup. Um, so we came. Um, first person we met was Ruben. And I have to say, he, he convinced us that this was a good place, a safe place. And, and would serve us. And you know, I'm thankful that, that he was here with us through that through our term. So we came um, and we met everyone else, Pauline and everyone. And everyone was great to us. Um, if it hadn't had been for the services that we got here, uh, I wouldn't uh, I'm still working. I'm uh, director of public services for the city of College Park. I had retired from the University of Maryland and couldn't leave College Park, so I got a job at the city. Um, and fortunately, my, my job, uh, my boss, was flexible and allowed me to continue working. And if it weren't for the center, I wouldn't have been able to do that. Um, when we started here, we were able to use the bus service. I mean, I, I would help Beth get ready in the morning and and then the bus would come and I'd you know, walk out to the bus with her. But she was still able to come home alone for a couple hours. You know, so she'd ride home on the bus, let herself into the house. If she was hungry, she'd pop something in the microwave. And this was just two and a half years ago. But over the next two years, her disease progressed to where it was very unpredictable when she would wake in the morning. And I learned quickly not to wake her up until she was ready to wake up because it was just too hard to to help bathe her and dress her and everything if she was still sleeping. So we, we started coming later and later in the morning. And as I say, thankfully my work was 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 accommodating for that. I got to work nights in the morning. But the, the center helped us during the day. I would have either had to have had to have quit my job to stay home or or found a permanent you know, nursing home. I mean, we, we're trying to avoid nursing home. Um, that seems to be something in, hardwired in my family is you know, you avoid nursing homes <laughs> until, the, until the final minute. And fortunately, we were able to avoid nursing homes altogether. Um, so the center helped us so much. I mean, I can't describe that. 